brain still untouched. And his keeping me alive has given me a power he didn't count on. Enjoy. Fuck off. Tonight on the Jed and Jamie show, we'd like to make you one of our painted hamburgers. Yeah, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Mm. So, what you need is three tablespoons mm. and a slice of cheese. Tick. Okay, sweetie. It's a big job growing up with such a handsome young man. Now, give me a kiss, and if you're a very good boy, I might have a special treat for you at bedtime. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Jaden Jamie. <laughs> This is history. This, this 
is history. For 53 years, the assassination of Elvis Presley has remained as much a mystery as it has today. Gunned down in a motorcade in 1997, the king of rock and roll's death has remained that mystery until now. Just who was the mysterious Elvis Presley and why was he killed in the prime of his middle life? For years, Elvis Presley entertained the masses with his unique style of rock and rolling. Born to Italian midgets and raised in the wild, the young Elvis displayed a knack for entertaining from an early age. Although adept at no skills and sporting a fresh haircut, the young Elvis would go on to become the largest sized entertainer the world had ever seen. Indeed. It was during this comeback in the spring of 1962 that events would unfold that would bring the world to the brink of tears. Seen here in an open topped car with matching shirt, Elvis and his entourage were promoting their forthcoming Hawaiian tour through Daly Plaza when a single shot rang out. This grainy black and white color footage clearly displays what happened next. Initially believed to be anything from bloating to spontaneous head expansion, it would later be revealed to be a single gunshot wound that had impacted with the head of Elvis Presley. He was immediately rushed to his private toilet, where he was later pronounced dead on the can. But just who had killed Elvis, and how had they accomplished this seemingly amazing feat in front of dozens of eye and ear witnesses? One name quickly came to mind. Author and dancer George Orwell would later be charged with the murder. Authorities claim that Orwell had taken a single shot repeating rifle to the Memphis Book Suppository, upon where he had taken aim and fired. Seen here in 1984 being led to trial, he is approached by chemist Ruby Wax and gunned down, then later shot. The police were unable to break his arm and he was therefore allowed to keep his gun. Case solved and done, or was it? No, it wasn't.